Oh hi, thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another episode of the Broke Family Let's Play where we basically try and get the Broke Family out of poverty. This is the third episode. So if you haven't seen the first one, you might want to go back. We have made some good progress. Brandy has got a job. She had her third baby. He's now a child. Dustin's going to be an adult in two days. And Bo is a teenager. You might notice we've made a few changes to the house already. We've opened up the living room so we have some space for a nicer TV, maybe a sofa if we can afford it. And we also have an upstairs space. We could only afford to just move Dustin stuff. So right now he's the only one that's got any furniture in his bedroom. But I'm hoping over time we'll be able to furnish the other boys' rooms. My biggest concern at the moment, which I'm actually quite worried about now, is Brandy becomes an elder in 12 days. We're really not making a lot of money. I'm concerned that by the time this house gets done, all of the kids are going to be grown up and Brandy's going to be an elder on the brink of death. <laughs> I forgot how hard The Sims 2 is. You just don't make money very easily. Brandy, why don't you go get the mail? That'll probably be some more bills, which will be just great. Yeah, more bills. Dustin will grow up in just one day. Well, that's another thing. So, Dustin... He's not really going to be able to go to college. Like, he's going to have to just work when he's an adult and just try and help out with paying for things for this house. Because even though we have a bit more space, we're still... I mean, we still have shit all, really. I suppose I could sell that cart. That would give me some money. 110 simoleons. Not bad. I just want to get... I think the most expensive purchase we'll be making is going to be a, a new TV. So I just want to get that out the way first. So we're probably going to need, I don't know, a couple grand probably. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. In the last episode though, we did make quite a bit of money from Toby discovering things on the telescope. So you know what, Toby? You search for constellations and you search for planets and try and get us 500 simoleons for our discovery. Brandy, you can take a break from that. Go take a bath, use the toilet, you know the drill. And then maybe just get some sleep. Alright, Toby, you can go to bed. Oh, I just realised there aren't enough beds for them to sleep in. <laughs> okay, maybe beds should be the priority over a TV. Can I even... F oh, that's so sad. I can't even afford a single bed. And I know what you might be thinking. Why don't I just sell this? And then I would be able to. But that's not really the point because... This is supposed to be about getting getting more for the family rather than, like, selling their shit. We're just going to have to take bedtime in shifts. What about a sofa, though? Can I afford a sofa? Because he could sleep on that. Oh, I can afford a sofa. Okay. Nice green flowery sofa. Perfect. At least now they all have somewhere they can sleep. Night night, everyone. Did I bite off more than what I could chew? I'm starting to fucking think so. <laughs> I was too ambitious and now I've committed to doing this. <laughs> and now the bath is fucking broken. Well done, dickhead. How did you manage that? As if I didn't have enough on my plate. As if I didn't just make it clear that there was a lot on my plate. You take a big steaming shit on it. <sighs> Sorry, Dustin. I may have overreacted there, but you better fix that bath. Oh, he did. Good. Good boy. Okay, Brandy has work soon, so I'm just going to get her to have a quick snack. Because, Brandy, I could really do with you getting at least two or three more promotions. All right, Brandy, time for work. Let's try and get ourselves to having the nice carpool at some point. Have a great day. Now it's just me and the boys. These boys are so gross. They keep farting and burping. They eat like fucking animals. School bus is here. Go to school, everyone. Have a great day. I do think Brandy will get a promotion today. And she usually gets a nice bonus when she gets a promotion as well, so. Ooh, word spread. Dustin's relatives heard about his report card and they sent him a 100 simoleon reward. <gasps> nice. Yes, Dustin. Right, let's get our homework done. Uh, no, not lounge on the sofa. Get your homework done, Dustin. Seriously, I'm so seriously... 
You boys are gonna need to step up. Oh, Dustin's gone from an A plus to an A. Oh well, at least he still has his job. He's gonna age up today, I think. It's 6 p.m. so he can get a proper job. Is that Brandy? Yes! She brought home 600 simoleons and got a bonus of 1,200. <gasps> well done, Brandy. So now we're a campaign manager. Well done. Okay, so you need to go practice your charisma. Go practice your speech. Oh, hang on. Is someone missing work? Who's meant to be going to work right now? Oh, both of them. Sorry, boys. See if you can get in that car in 10 minutes. Quick as you can. Oh, just in the nick of time. Perfect. Could do with those two salaries today. And it looks like little Toby's got an A+. Plus. Aww. He's gone to show his mum that he's got an A plus at school. All right, Toby, calm down. Can't you see I'm busy? Can we send these kids home? Like, I could really do without having all these other mouths to feed. Dustin has been promoted. Is it because he aged up? That was a horrible period of time in my life. I guess one has to hit rock bottom to really be free. Oh, dear, Dustin. Wow, he's really not doing so well, is he? How's the kid getting on? Have you just have you not discovered any new planets yet? You okay, Dustin? Oh shit. <gasps> Brandy, never you should never pet a skunk, you idiot. You better go take a bubble bath. Oh dear. What do you want? Who are you? Oh Brandy, check out your new carpool. Is that Dustin? Oh dear. <laughs> you have work soon, Dustin. You'll be able to earn some money. And maybe one day a nice car will pick you up like Brandy's. And to think only yesterday you were a teenager with not a care in the world. And now you have to face reality. Yeah, you're right. Life is pretty shit. And that's a lesson to everyone. As we all know, this is before anything, an educational channel. That's today's lesson. Life is shit. I swear, end service. You should not fucking be here. You're a nanny. We fired you ages ago. All right, Dustin, try and have a good day at work. Oh, shit, I forgot. Yeah, he can't leave a child alone. Oh, that's why the nanny was here. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, Bo, you're going to get fired. Fuck off, Mortimer, seriously. What is it with him and coming to my house just to assault me? Don't come assaulting me just because you're jealous because you have to max out a credit card to get some puss. Pathetic waste man. Do you imagine if Brandy got another promotion? Oh, that would be sweet, wouldn't it? That would be sick. If she got another promotion with another 1,200 bonus, I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself now. I'm getting carried away with my thoughts. But we could afford a TV, and we could probably even afford a new dining table. Aw, Dustin has had a promotion, though. Well done, Dustin. See, things are looking up. Why don't you go take a shower? Or a bath? <gasps> yes! Brandy got a promotion. She's now a city council member. Oh, Brandy. Right. Right. Let's buy some shit for this house. Get rid of this ugly chair. Get rid of the dining table. Can I sell the newspaper? Oh, can't delete objects. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, let's get a half-decent TV. Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? It's annoying that the furniture doesn't quite centre. I think we could probably do a nice little dining table as well, like a proper dining table. Like that. Yeah. Maybe just a few cute little chairs. That's right. That's right. Perhaps an armchair here. I mean, we could really push the boat out and chuck a rug down, couldn't we? I think that's all right for the downstairs so far. I'm more preoccupied on seeing if we can at least get some more beds for the boys. So we'll get a nice race car one. This can be Toby's bedroom. We'll just give them both a little bookcase. Oh, I know Toby's quite into space. So is there like a cool picture I can hang up for him? Not exactly space, but uh, we'll do reggae. Ten-year-old loves reggae. Just try and give him a little bit of personality. Chuck a wardrobe in there. Okay, we are kind of running out of money now. Maybe we'll stick a chest of drawers in there. Okay, that was pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. So now we just need to furnish the bathroom in here. Maybe give them a couple extra things. Find something to put there. Maybe some kind of skill activity. 
And then for the downstairs section, I want to like fill this empty space with something and maybe like redo the floor, maybe redo the walls, I don't know. But you know what, Brandy? I think now that you've had a promotion and you're getting pretty senior, I think you should go for a new look. And then you need to practice your charisma because who knows, if you practice hard enough, tomorrow might even also be a promotion day, although you do also need a friend as well, so it's going to be a push. It's weird because I'm so used to seeing Brandy only with that same hairstyle. So I just kind of feel like none of these really suit her very well. Maybe this one? This one's a little bit more professional, maybe? I wonder if I can afford a toilet, because I could really do with two. No, can't even afford one toilet. In a, um kind of unrelated note, just a conversation starter, I suppose. I was reading earlier this week about the wedding anniversary of the woman that married the Eiffel Tower. They've been married 15 years this year, so quite impressive, really, considering it's a long-distance relationship. Because I think she's, like, well, she's Italian or American, one of the two, so she doesn't live in France. And a lot of long-distance relationships, they don't really stand the test of time like that. So I thought that was quite impressive. that They both stayed faithful to each other for 15 years. Here's a question for you, though. Something pointless to ponder. If you give an object something that's like a human way of living... I don't know if I'm wording this in a confusing way, right? But marriage, I would say, is like a human way of living. So if you put an object through that, like the Eiffel Tower, does that mean that you would be upset if someone else got jiggy with the Eiffel Tower? And also, over the years, the Eiffel Tower... I've, I've really been thinking about this. <laughs> I've really put a lot of thought into it. The Eiffel Tower has been responsible for several deaths over the years. So does that also mean she married a murderer? I mean, I know we all like a bad boy, but what does it all mean? I guess is what I'm trying to say. Something to think about, isn't it? <laughs> it's funny because uh, you probably think it's a bit weird, but I think about this sort of shit all the time. <laughs> Constantly going through my mind, just thinking way too deeply about things. Brandy, I think you should call up someone because you need to make a friend. Mortimer Goth, call up, actually, call Angela. Probably got a better chance at being friends with her. Is there anyone we can, like, gain a friendship? Oh, what about Callista or that Robin chick? We seem to get on well with that Robin girl. Nina Caliente could be a choice. Oh, I don't know if we're going to make a friend by the end of the day. She's going to tell me it's too late to be calling. don't think the boys need anything for a promotion. They're, they're pretty good. Oh, yeah, we became friends again. Sweet, we're going to be a shoo-in. Send the kids to bed. Right, I'm thinking, let's get the kid looking through the telescope because I forgot it's the weekend. Have a great day at work, Dustin. Try and come home with a promotion. Okay, now Brandy, I'm going to get you to practice your charisma because even though you have all the skills you need, you're probably still going to need more charisma for your next promotion. So let's just get that going. If I get Dustin to become friends with Orlando, probably that will be like the family friends. And then I won't have to get Brandy stressing about her next promotion. Already planning for the promotion after this one. All right, Brandy, you can stop that now. I can see you're getting pissed off. Why don't you come and serve lunch, uh, lunch meat sandwiches? Oh, is that Dustin? Do we have a promotion? Yes! Sweet. Okay. So what are we now? A starter. Oh wow, we need quite a lot of body points and a charisma skill point. So Dustin, let's just get charisma out of the way and then take a look at what more home improvements we can make. I'd quite like to change this wallpaper, maybe give it a fresh lick of paint. Something like that. That looks a bit more classy, doesn't it? Maybe some curtains? Just to really bring the place together. Oh, we can't afford curtains for the whole room. Well, we don't really need this window. There we go. In fact, I might just even this out a little bit. That's a bit better. Perfect. 
I feel like you can really see a difference with the wallpaper now. Brandy, why are you telling me how hungry you are when you know where the fridge is? Go and get leftovers. Let's just queue up a couple of things for their needs. Okay. Bo, you can come use the bathroom. I know, Dustin, you're not happy with the direction your life is going in, but we have to deal with this bit by bit, okay? So just go to bed for now. You're giving me a headache. He fears being uneducated. Oh, the toilet's clogged. That's why the environment's so bad. Okay, unclog the toilet then. Don't be such a little bitch about it. Unclog the toilet and then mop up the mess. It was one of your shits that did it. These fucking boys. Well, the baby's awake. So I guess you can use the bathroom. Do not clog it. And then you can do some stargazing. See if you can discover something. When is he an ad? A teenager in three days. Okay, everyone's fucking off in an hour. How are all of our moods? Brandy's quite hungry. Brandy, go have a quick snack. You're quite hungry. You should go have a snack. Oh, no. The fridge is empty. All right, Brandy. Well, before you go to work, you need to... Actually, you know what? You guys are all just going to have to go hungry. And then we can order some groceries when you get back. Because it's a bit too late now to order food. Sorry, guys. My bad. That's on me. All right, kids. Go to school. And then, Brandy, there's your car. Go to work. Where's Dustin's car? Does he get to ride in the fancy car today? Oh, I guess he's getting in the fancy car with Brandy. Lucky boy. I don't think he's going to be getting a promotion for a, a long time yet. And then, Brandy, the first thing you're going to do is order delivery. I'm a bit worried that Bo might lose his job because he just isn't going to be able to leave the kid alone. Oh, wait, no. Brandy will get home at three the same time. So actually, that should be fine. All right, Bo, go to work. Have a great day. Oh, everyone's home. Great. Any promotions today? No, nothing special. Although Brandy looks like she's hit a milestone. What did you achieve, Brandy? Earned 10,000 simoleons. That's pretty good going. Right, should we see if we can finish this house? I don't think we can. But we can take a look. We can put another toilet in here. Maybe a sink. I mean, I think the living room's almost done. Could maybe stick like a couple pictures up on the wall, possibly. Yeah, that looks nice. Can we afford a plant? That looks lovely. Yeah, I think that's done. I'm happy to call that done. And then up here, we need a shower for the bathroom. Maybe we'll give Bo, not Bo, Toby. We'll give Toby a toy chest. And maybe we could put like a chest table here. And then I think I would say that I'm pretty happy. So if we get a chest table here, maybe a shower as well, then I would definitely consider that to be taking Brandy Broke out of poverty. Right, Boo, or Bo, there's going to be someone in the comments having a go at me for the way I pronounce this kid's name. Bo, when you get home, you can call your friend. Oh, fuck's sake. Robin's no longer a family friend. Right, Brandy, get on the phone. Patch things up. Let's become friends again. And then maybe we'll call up um, Nina Caliente as well. Put the work in with Nina. Two days before Toby's birthday. <gasps> Will we get this house in ship shape before the last child becomes a teen? Okay, Bo, go and do your homework. I don't care how bad of a mood you're in. Okay, Brandy, you can go practice your speech. I mean, you're not in the best mood, but you're not in the worst mood either. Did you fucking clog the toilet again? Oh, these kids. Someone put that book away. Okay, Dustin, I'm going to get you to do a workout so you can work on your body skill. That is one stinky child. Oh no, it's a burglar and I don't have a burglar alarm. Wait, wait. Brandy, wake up. Call the police right now, Brandy. Get the fuck up. You can fuck right off, Gordon King, you robber. Brandy, hurry up and get out of bed. Oh, he's taking my TV. Of all things, the TV. Police station, hurry. Oh no, he's run away. We'll be there as soon as we can. He ran away just as the police got there. Can you find the robber? I'm sorry, it looks like the burglar got away. Well, you're about as useful as a sack of shit, aren't you? Oh, can I get a burglar alarm? Can't afford one. <sighs> that is so disappointing. I can't believe that happened. 
by a burglar alarm. I'm still in shock that we got robbed of our most prized possession as well. I saved up for that TV. Genuinely devastating. And we've just had fucking bills delivered as if I haven't got enough on my plate. Oh, Brandy got a promotion. Oh, sweet success. Okay, well, first things first, let's get a burglar alarm. Second thing second, let's see if we can replace, we, ca we still can't afford to replace the TV. Well, you know what? Let's just make me feel like I've made a bit more progress. Let's buy that shower and the chess table. And then that way, all I need now is just a TV. You like your new shower? Not quite as good as a TV, but you know, it's something. You know what, Toby? Why don't you go and look through the telescope and see if you can bring home some simoleons? We could do with all the help we could get. Don't really have much to help with your fun. Although we still have the CD player upstairs. I know, I know. You want to have some fun. Why don't you go and play the, with the pinball machine? Oh, you know what I could do? I could sell this and the telescope because I don't really, I don't really need them in terms of like furnishing the house. How much do we need for a new TV? 2,350. So just over 1,100. All right, everyone. Go to work, go to school, bring home some money. We got some bills there for 70 simoleons. Not bad. Oh, do Toby's homework while you're there. I'm not in the mood to do that right now. Oh, okay, fine. Well, if you're not in the mood to go do homework, you can just go to work then, Bo. Why the fuck is the nanny here again? You're babysitting no one. You can't just turn up and expect to get paid. No. End services. Toby's grades are slipping. Well, I'm not surprised he hasn't done, he hasn't done any homework for a while. Home from work. Can we finally afford that TV? Ugh. We're like 60 simoleons short. If only we hadn't paid those bills. Oh, wait. I don't need this potty anymore. Oh, wait, though. Bo is still at work, so he's going to bring some money home. Oh, yes. Sweet success. We have bought the TV back, guys. And I would call that a pretty furnished home. And I would say, yes, we have brought Brandy Broke out of, pro out of poverty. Just as Toby ages into a teen. And we even managed to get her out of poverty before she became an elder. I mean, sure, she does only have 40 simoleons in the bank. But she's at quite a high career level. In fact, what level is she? Got all of these memories we've made through playing this. She's at career level five. So yeah, on that note, I'm going to call that a win. And I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.